Welcome guys to another Profile Tree video. So today we're going to be going through the best text-to-speech Chrome extension. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So firstly, I'd like to cover what exactly a Chrome extension is. Chrome extensions are basically a, a way to improve user experience or modify and add functionality to the Chrome browser. They're created using web technology like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, JavaScript or any other known coding, coding languages, of course, to create these extensions. The aim of an extension is to serve a single purpose around the whole program uh, is built. So an extension should have minimal interface or extend to a web page. So it's basically just meant to, as I said, improve the user experience. Now, an extension uh, or extensions are zipped into a CRX package, so the user would have to download and install that package. So what's the need for a speech Chrome extension? So basically it's believed or, you know, yeah, it's believed to be that um, you can optimize your time and increase your productivity using these tools, um, which is the text to speech. and with these tools, it's possible to listen to the text while doing some other activity. So if you need to, uh, to get on with something else, then you could use this. Uh, an example of this is if you're using or filling in a spreadsheet, or you could even, even be formatting a document, or just generally performing a task. And in addition to this, um, you need to sort of emphasize the importance of the extensions in terms of accessibility. So um, of course, people with visual impairments as well, or people that just have reading difficulties, or of course, if they have dyslexia as well, or any sort of dis uh, disabilities as well, this is a handy tool to have with it, with it being a Chrome extension. So if I list an example, um, you could use automated reading to your advantage, basically, if you you can't really understand what that means, then use the text-to-speech. And as well as that, it's a great way to communicate even with relatives and friends. Uh, but first, we actually need to understand what you know text-to-speech is. Uh, it's basically a technology that allows uh, reproducing a text through the use of a voice synthesizer. So that's pretty much what that is. You may see it as well as an acronym uh, as TTS. So just be aware, it just means text to speech. So pretty much it just, um, it's based off a database. You have recorded uh, speech pieces as well um, with syllables and even like whole words or phrases that's stored in there and it's recorded pieces and pretty much just uh, paste the sentences together or the words together to form a sentence. And then that's pretty much how the text to speech works. Anyway, enough of me talking there. Uh, that's just a quick little uh, explanation of what exactly a, what is the need for a speech extension. Anyway, we'll go ahead and check out some of the speech to or uh, text to speech extensions on the actual Chrome uh, web browser. So now if I search up the speech to text, of course, there are several different extensions available. Uh, do make sure that you filter out extensions just to be clear with the Chrome web browser. Now, there are a lot of the featured ones as well to use for, so fire away and have a look through those. But I would like to go through some different ones here and we'll just check them out. So the first one I wanted to actually see was the speech to text, the voice recognition one, which is the featured one. So uh, don't mind the reviews. Of course, there are some some errors to this. Of course, you even have a uh, review as well of the extension. And we'll go ahead and add that to Chrome. So if you don't already know how to add a extension to Chrome, all you need to do is just select add to Chrome. And then you'll get a little pop up there, um, which you can't see. It'll just say add speech to text voice recognition. You'll just see a little pop up and then pretty much just changes things about. Um, that's pretty much it installed. It just redirects you to another page. 
Now, if you view on the top here, it's got like a little puzzle piece where it says extensions. And basically, once I've clicked on this, uh, I can go ahead and allow speech to text to do the voice recognition. But you have to make sure that you allow a uh, voice recognition. So I'll actually show you another uh, the other screen that it's popped up here now. So this is the Chrome extension. So basically, um, here it is with uh, speech to text. So I could have it where I talk and then it basically sets it up for the um, speech. So if, of course I use the microphone to talk into this and then it allows me to say what I need. So if I just say hi or So please click on the microphone button to start speaking. And basically what it does, if you start talking, uh, it'll then output the text. So of course, uh, as I said, this um, I have stated the fact that you can have text to speech or speech to text. Now this one is the speech to text. Um, so this is, this is great for people who are maybe, you know, no hearing or just um, impaired with it. So if I say, let's just say, um, hello, welcome to Profile Tree. As you can see, it actually communicates and lists out what I wanted to say, which is hello, welcome to Profile Tree. So it's, it's a great way to actually talk to someone as well, um, necessarily who has the, uh, either a disability or just, you know, can't actually hear or um, yeah, you can't actually hear, which is the purpose of this. Now, um, of course there are other ones av available. Now you can use the text to speech now. So if we go to the home here and then I search up text to speech. Uh, you can have other ones here. I actually wanted to have a look at the uh, extension here, which is called Speechify, and it's uh, from text to speech for the voice reader. Now, this is one of the popular ones that's used, actually. So you can, uh, as I said, pretty much just add that to Chrome, and then you'll get a little pop-up saying, uh, add this extension. And then you'll probably have a pop-up as well, depending. So as you can see, it downloads a CRX file, and then I can sync it to my profile. Just redirects me to their actual page so this is what their website looks like by the looks of things and then of course we could just multitask so that that's one of the things you could use for uh this is one of the things that you could use as well for for multitasking as i've said and what's great about this is they even give you different reading voices as well so there's one there for snoop dogg so depending if you want to use a Snoop Dogg one. Um, so this is pretty much us setting it up. And what's actually great about this is that you could have it as speed reader, faster, average, or slower. So this is depending if you um, have a hard time reading as well, or you just want to keep up more. If you're a fast reader, then by all means, stick it up to the speed reader. So that's a great, great little feature there for uh, Speechify. So once you pretty much uh, went through the processes there, this is pretty much the setup of how it looks. Now um, you would have to go ahead and go for a premium plan if you want to unlock all the features, of course. But depending if you have um, some documents and files. So if I open this up, this, is, this will actually uh, read out the text that I have. And it actually just goes through the overview as well. So you may not be able to hear this, but I'm, uh, what I'm hearing is that um, I'll actually just pause this for now. So basically, uh, there's a little pause button there. And what's great about this is you could just upload your files onto here. And then this basically reads it out for you. You could then go into a different web browser or a document, say, and then you're actually like writing things up. You could hear and type if you wanted to, or if, you, as I said, if you can't um, 
necessarily see or you have an impaired vision, then this would be great to pick up on if you have uh, your hearing. So that's one of the advantages to this. Now, of course, you can't actually hear, as I said, and you can pick out areas to um, listen to. So if I wanted to listen to, I wanted him to be proud of me, I can go ahead and select that and um, it plays it for you. I could also change the speed. So if I wanted it to be speed reader, um, it goes pretty, pretty fast. It goes to the point where you actually can't understand it. So it'd probably be best to stick it around here, which is at average. So yeah, that, that pretty much just sums up what the Speechify one looks like. So that's, all, of course, one of the examples for your Chrome extension. You can also access it through going through here. Uh, so just say I was at a web page and we'll see if we could select one. So of course, if I use the daily mail as an example, I'll just go to the Speechify and if I just play that. So it actually reads out the actual um, parts here, as you can see. So if uh, it was to read the this part here, I could just select play. Let's see if that plays not. So we'll actually use uh, another area here to demonstrate this. So we'll demonstrate it on this website. And of course, this is our brand profile tree. So if I just select on the extension and then go to Speechify text and then just select play, it actually reads out the actual content. So basically it highlights it as well to see where you are. And of course my speed is at 1.4, so I can bring that down if I wanted to as well. And then of course I would be able to go to another uh, web page while this is actually playing. And then of course I can pause that if I wanted to. I can select dark mode, uh, click to listen, listen history. Just a couple of different bits and pieces, which actually helps you or guide you through the website itself. So that's pretty much the highlight of a Speechify. And as I said, there are other ones to look through. Uh, it's not only Speechify, but of course, if I search up text to speech again, uh, you can see there's translator U language and there's also read aloud. Now, if I put this the other way around. There are several different extensions to use. Uh, well, we've got voice in, speech to text uh, dictation, speech to text, which we looked at, read me text to speech TTS. But yeah, that is pretty much the highlight of the extension itself uh, for speech to text and text to speech. If you guys have any questions at all regarding what we've looked at, and if you have any issues at all with maybe installing the extension, why not leave us a comment section below? Uh, why why not leave us a comment in the comment section below? And uh, yes, that pretty much covers the video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you for the next one.